Today, we will answer a geometry challenge coming from one of our followers. And the question goes like this. So given this rectangle, let's draw a semicircle inside of it, wherein the semicircle is tangent to the side of this rectangle. Now, this segment, this segment measures three units, and this segment measures six units. Now, our goal in this question is to find the radius r. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. All right, so given this figure, our goal is to solve for the radius of the semicircle and denoted as r. Now, one thing to notice here is from the center of the semicircle down to the point of tangency, we create a 90 degrees, of course. And also, we can do the same thing on the other side of this rectangle. If we draw the radius directly to the point of tangency, we created a 90 degrees. Now, to answer this question or to solve for the value of this radius r, let's extend this radius like this. Now, at this point, I see two congruent triangles. Now, where are they? So the first one is this right triangle right over here. And the second one, let's drop a perpendicular line like this. And these two right triangles are said to be congruent. Now, to prove this, let's call this angle be equal to alpha. And this angle is also alpha because vertical angles are congruent. Now, this angle, let's call this as beta. So alpha plus beta adds up to 90 degrees. If this is alpha, of course, the other angle, this other angle must be equal to beta. And also, from the center of the semicircle at, up to this point, this is the radius of the circle. And also, this is the radius of the circle. So by angle, side, angle postulate, these two right triangles are said to be congruent or just the same thing. So we will use this concept to answer this question. All right. Now, the next question is how long is this segment? So we know these two blue right triangles are congruent. Now, how long is this segment? So this is the measure of the radius of this semicircle minus 3. So this is just r minus 3. Now, since these two blue triangles are congruent, this side must be also equal to r minus 3. Next, how long is this segment? So this is the measure of the radius of this semicircle minus 6, or simply equal to r minus 6. Now, let's focus on this right triangle because using this right triangle we can now solve for the value of r using the pythagorean theorem so we have r minus 3 raised to the power of 2 plus r minus 6 raised to the power of 2 equals r squared now if we expand r minus 3 raised to the power of 2 and r minus 6 raised to the power of 2 we get something like r squared minus 6 r plus 9 plus quantity r squared minus 12 r plus 36 now this r squared just bring down and then Notice that we can eliminate positive r squared on the right-hand side and on the left-hand side. So this is just 0. Now let's continue combining like terms. The first one, let's have negative 6r and negative 12r or simply equal to negative 18r. Now this 9 and 36, if we add these two together, we have 45. Now let's focus on this quadratic equation containing r. And... Of course, to find r, let's try to factor this quadratic equation. Now, this positive 45 is simply equal to negative 15 multiplied by negative 3. This is positive 45. And negative 18 is negative 15 plus negative 3. So technically speaking, we can factor this quadratic equation as follows. We have r minus 15 multiplied by r minus 3. So let's have its factored form. Now, to solve for the value of r, since it is equal to 0, so at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we can say that r minus 15 equals to 0 or r minus 3 equals 0. From the first equation, we can solve for the value of r and it must be equal to 15. And on the second equation, if we add 3 on both sides, we get that r equals 3. Now, let's focus on the equation. <clears throat> 
Now, at this point, we get two possible values of r. We have r equals 15 or r equals 3. But in this figure, notice that r cannot be equal to 3 because this is not equal to 3, cannot be equal to 3 because if r is 3, 3 minus 3, this side must be equal to 0. And technically speaking, we don't have a triangle if one of its sides must be equal to 0. So r equals 3 is not possible. Therefore, the only value of this radius must be equal to 15. And that is the answer to this question. Therefore, given this figure, then the value of the radius r must be equal to 15 units. And as always, we are done.